Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brenda. <laughs> I've just always wanted to start my videos out that way and freak the hell out of y'all and be like, oh my god, who the hell is that? So anyway, hi. Today's video is gonna be a where you go, but it's gonna be a slightly different where you go. It's gonna be the start of my sustainable fashion series. I did bring this up in one of my recent Instagram posts talking about it during the fashion revolution week. In the past few years, I've done quite a lot of like fast fashion hauls and stuff like that. And while I love how affordable it is, I love experimenting. And while I will still continue to shop at some fast fashion outlets. I would say a good 50% of my wardrobe is now actually vintage slash thrifted and it's not gonna stop from there. I've cut down on making these hauls specifically because I just feel like I need to be responsible in the way that I'm promoting things. And I also wanted to introduce to y'all better, more refreshing content, alternatives and different ways to shop to kind of show you that like fast fashion isn't the only affordable way to kind of go around looking for clothes. And if you really want to delve into finding out what your personal style is, if you want to experiment with different things. If you want to find unique pieces, there's no better place to start than at a thrift store because you have a lot of affordable, very wide variety in both sizes and styles and colours and cuts. Today, we're gonna look at thrift stores in Singapore. We're gonna look at mostly physical thrift stores, specifically on thrift stores, like donation stores, that sort of thing. We're looking at very affordable, very cheap secondhand clothing. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the places I've been. Thankfully, I did take some footage so you can sort of see and recce the area without really going there. I know thrift shopping may not be for everyone because it's a certain environment. You have to dig. Not everything is gonna be beautiful. They're not gonna be presented in the same way that boutiques are gonna present their clothes to you. So just be mentally prepared, but just know that you're able to find gems and find things that are very unique need for a very very low price. Right before we jump in, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, film, productivity and all that kind of stuff. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of these classes including workshops and communities so that you can really like engage in it. Right now I'm actually doing a course on the basics of Photoshop, sort of like sharpening my skills, refreshing everything and then possibly moving on to the advanced class by Jeremy Scott, I think. I don't know, I'll leave it down below. But it's really awesome. I can learn on the go, on the MRT. Do, 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 do. Whether you want to feel your creativity, curiosity or career, Skillshare is the perfect place for you. And you can join me as well as 7 million other creators on Skillshare. Premium membership starts at like $20 a month. If you do annual, it's like $11.50 per month for the entire year. If you want to try it out first, you can feel free to sign up with my link down below. It gives you 2 months of free premium membership. Yes. Yeah. Back to the video. <laughs> now, some of these you may know, some of these you may not know. I'll just start with the most established ones that we know of. Two places. Okay, first one. Oh, let's not jump on the ball. The first place I want to talk about is obviously the Salvation Army. There are a lot of outlets everywhere throughout Singapore, but I will say that the biggest and most, uh, I would say productive shopping I've ever done in a Salvation Army is always the one at Hillview near Bukit Timah, that sort of area. I'm gonna list the full address down here. If you're taking the MRT, it's right outside the Hillview MRT. It's pretty dope. And it's a very big and spacious place. Now, I have been there when I was like 15, 16. It was distinctly a lot more like murky, like not as clean and bright and big. Now the Salvation Army is like actually really nice. It looks like an actual store. It's very, very spacious, very big, obviously air conditioned. I do need some rack space to filter through the clothes. So I found that it was very easy to look at the clothes. They have a lot of like donations from people around the area. The Bukit Dima, sort of Hillview area has a lot of people that buy like better quality, sometimes branded or sometimes just like nicer stuff. So your chances of finding something that's like branded of a higher quality is higher as compared to some of the other thrift stores I'll be talking about. But it's also very well sifted through. I think a lot of people know at this point that that place is a hidden treasure. Everyone sort of goes there to flip through, especially the women's clothes. When we were there, I felt like I saw maybe five other girls our age there flipping through clothes. I would say maybe three to four like 30 something ladies. And we were there on like a Tuesday afternoon, you know? It was definitely like a non-peak period. So I don't know how the crowds would be either on weekends or like a peak period. With all thrift shopping, but I feel especially more for the Salvation 
Indonesian army outlet, it's really down to luck. It's really depending on what people donate. I think they churn out the donations pretty fast. They also do this thing where they tag different clothes at different prices and that's something that I noticed that is different in Singapore as opposed to like maybe the states because in Goodwill every top is like $7.99 you know I was in New York and it was expensive sometimes it's like $3.99 sometimes it's $2.99 but in Singapore if it's nice if it's of a good brand and they know it they're gonna bump that shit up you know what I mean and sometimes you can't tell what the price is because it's not there and like sometimes they write it on the logo sometimes it's not and so we had to bring it to the cashier a couple of times to like check it and I I don't know if she was just like spitballing a number, you know, but it was decent. The cheapest things we found weren't that cheap. They were like eight to ten dollars. Most of the items were like fifteen or ten dollars. And then the shoes that I got were thirty dollars. I think if I'm not wrong, most of the shoes are thirty dollars. But the thing is, I went to the counter and I was like, eh, hey, like this one inside is like crackling, you know, can you give me a discount. And she was like, yeah, sure, you know. And then she gave me like a twenty percent discount. So be nice to the staff. And from what I can see, everyone else is like super nice to the staff. And I think they're all like regulars, so they're all like friends and they're always talking. It's a very nice sort of like homely environment to be in. I didn't feel very grimy, I didn't feel like I was very uncomfortable, it was very dusty. Sometimes thrift stores, especially in JB or something, can get like that. So yeah, just keep an open mind, really take the time to flip through, especially because it's quite comfortable to stay there for a while and flip through. We even looked at the homeware, we looked at some art, they have a lot of vases and they're not that expensive expensive oh my god some of them are like $480 some of them are like $30 so it really does depend a lot of the dresses are also very current and they tend to be like fast fashion that sort of thing and they have a lot of wedding dresses I don't know what to think about that. They have three fitting rooms, it's very roomy, but you're only allowed to bring in, I think, three or four items max. And you also get a little trolley and everything. It was just a very pleasant experience, but at this point, I feel like it's a bit overpicked. Lah. So you just have to be careful. If you want to score something really great, you're going to have to go back multiple times and look. I think if I'm not wrong, it is the first thrift store in Singapore. So yeah, there's a little tidbit for you right there. The next place is somewhere that I feel like a lot of people know as well. It's a three to four minute walk from Ras Basa MRT, but you can also walk from Dobi Ghat and Bugis if I'm not wrong. It's a part of the SCWO building on Waterloo Street and it's right next to the corners. Actually, it's on both corners. It's called the New To You Thrift Store and it's one of the most popular thrift stores in Singapore just because it's like the only one other than Salvation Army for the longest time. I love that it's a central location. I love that because it's a women's organization, a lot of women women do donate like either work clothes, better quality stuff, or just like more interesting things in general. And every time I've been there, I feel like I've really enjoyed my time there. It does get pretty crowded on Tuesdays, which is students 50% off. And you know what? There were a lot of students there and it was nice. It was just very stressful because I think like a lot of people feel like, oh my god, I gotta look for these things before other people do. And so sometimes people can get a little bit like, it's like a pegro competitive, so it's not like straight out like push you out of the way but it's just like eyeing your stuff every now and then you know maybe it was just like the day that I went it's it's kind of cool oh I also bumped into a viewer that was like hey I like your stuff and I was like oh my god great first time that I ever went I think when I was like 17 or 16 I got this oh I still remember I love it so much I got this pair of trousers it was like satin it was like brocade oh it was really really cool I still have it actually I I it's a little tight on me, you know, my ass looks really bad in it, but um, I still hold a lot of sentimental value and I'm just like waiting for the day that I can fit into it again. And I also got this dress that I almost ended up wearing for prom. It was beautiful. That was $40. That was not cheap. But I think, you know, with student price, you can slash it's 20 So I think I got it at 20 They have a lot of blazers. They have a lot of trousers. They have a lot of tops and dresses, even shoes as well. And it's not as comfortable as it is in Salvation Army because the racks are pretty stuffed and the space is generally smaller. There's a homeware section that I didn't really look into because it didn't look that exciting. It's just a lot of toys and that kind of thing. I felt like my time was better spent at the clothing section, so you know, just skip that. They have racks outside on the corridors and stuff, but the cash is inside and that's the only space that's sort of air conditioned and there's only one fitting room. So I would say if you want to go there, wear something sort of tight and wear shorts maybe so that you can put things on just over there and sort of see if it fits because especially on a Tuesday, there's going to be a lot 
long line waiting for that fitting room. It's on the corner. It's just sort of tedious because you gotta wait in line. You're probably like fourth, fifth in line. It's like a semi-circle curtain sort of thing. You can't tell people to hurry up and you can only try on like a max of three items at once. So I highly recommend you to just try it on. They have plenty of mirrors sort of out and about. So you can sort of just like sh sh see if it fits, see if it doesn't and you know put it back. I had a really good haul at New to You. I'm really excited to show it to you guys. By the way, it's gonna be the next video so stay tuned. I feel like the clothing that I found at New to You is like the closest I've ever gotten in Singapore to like a New York standard Goodwill in terms of like good quality classic pieces. But again, you have to be patient and you have to sift through it. You gotta keep your eye out. There's a lot of different people. The racks are very, very full and it's pretty hot because it's not air conditioned. So, you know, you know. Ooh, also the opening hours are not like the most convenient. It's like 9.30 or 10.30 to maybe like 2.30 p.m. That's just how the dice rolls. You just gotta wake up a bit earlier. You gotta commit. So yeah. Alright, this next place is also sort of like a donation store. It's from a church. I think it's called Minds Collective. Hey, uh, it's me, Editing Brenda. Very sorry, but completely false info, fake news. Oh my gosh, that place is not called Minds. This place that I'm gonna be talking about is actually called Rock of Salvation, and it's right opposite Balestia. Everything else is correct lah. It's just I got the name wrong. So sorry. I'm gonna be talking about Minds in a bit, so just stay tuned. It's walking distance from, I think, Jalan Besar or Little India MRT. And we went and I just feel like there wasn't much there. Um, it was very cramped. There was no ventilation. There was no aircon, no fan. It literally felt like we were suffocating for a while. And of all the clothes that were there, I think it's a very like family-centric sort of donation store. Because like I said, thrift stores are very dependent on what people donate. I didn't find anything very interesting. They do have a couple of homeware things but I felt like for the clothes and homeware because they looked very old they looked very very worn and nothing was extra exciting I felt like everything was priced a little bit high the one thing I sort of saw and I got intrigued by and I guess I like slightly considered was maybe like the bags and the purses but they are very costumey and they're not of good quality it just gets a really small mention here because I I don't have much to say about it to be honest. Alright, and now for the most juicy bit. Woohoo! We're gonna talk about Lucky Plaza. It was where Fleawear is. They've changed the landscape of the place, so now they're like permanent stores, but they are like secondhand stores. I think they are probably like people that have bought stuff from these different weekend fleas and are just like sort of selling it. There is a mix of new and secondhand at Fleawear now. Like I said, it's at Lucky Plaza, it's on the sixth floor. When you come out of the lift, you're facing Jollibee and the lift is behind you. Go onto your right and then at the end, turn left. That's where Fleawear is. They have a bunch of like accessories, clothes, and then when you turn in some more, like into Fleawear on the right, then you see a bunch of these like secondhand stores. And these are really, really, really affordable. I'm talking either one for five, three for ten. And I'm gonna tell you in all honesty, the clothes and that selection not the best but you definitely would find like some interesting pieces or some stuff that you're like oh my god it's really like a diamond in the rough kind of thing because i just feel like the curation is a bit meh like it's very outdated fast fashion taobao style clothes you know some people will like it some people may not and sometimes you would find like actual like we found a couple of like adidas leggings and sports bras they look very new and they look great but i'm not someone that would buy like leggings and sports bras from some unknown source and they had a bunch of other like coats and stuff I did find a couple of like diamond in the rough pieces so I'm really really excited about that and my friend found a couple of like blazers and trousers as well so it really just depends on your luck like I said but that place is really quite affordable so you can check it out and plus it's really nearby to the two other places that I'm gonna talk about the other place it's literally just opposite so when you come out of Fleawear this is Jollibee just walk this way it's just a very very small store not much decor at all the only decor you get is like a4 size two dollar signs everywhere sometimes it's closed sometimes it's open i asked the owner slash like shopkeeper and he said that they're open from 11 30 to like 7 30 every day and when you go in everything is really just two dollars it's like the literal daiso thrift store and i found 
a hell lot of stuff in that place. I can't even begin to tell you what sort of style they carry because they just carry every single thing. And the fun thing about thrift shopping is that you see other people pick up things that you wouldn't normally pick up and you're like, huh, oh, that's your style, okay. My friend and I found a hell lot of jackets. I got a couple of like crazy colored ones. We were like both really eyeing this beige structured one. It was so cute. It was so well made and I was just like, oh my god, I want it so much. But she found it first and it's like her style. So I was like, all right, okay. So that was pretty fun. And I found a couple of other things as well that I will show y'all in the haul. And the last place I want to talk about, oh my god, it's like I'm saving the best for last. We've been there like five times in the past two months, I'd say. It's a relatively new find for us and that's why we were at Lucky Plaza. But dang, that place nice. I think a lot of people know it. I don't exactly know what it's called, but it's a shared store between Refresh and that stall. And whenever I like Faith Pay, it says GB Sports. So I don't know if it's like a thing. But that place, very, very well stocked. It can get sort of overwhelming. And for some reason, like I always have really bad luck when I'm there. I either don't find stuff or I find the most beautiful stuff that doesn't fit me. Because I have like a pretty average size and I feel like if it was in my size, it would have already been snatched up and the only reason why is because like even my friend Angel she's so skinny and some things can't fit her like she just can't zip it up so I have shit luck but my friend Angel has the best luck when she's there I think that's why she likes to go back there all the time and she just drags me she's found like at least three really really good trousers and jeans she's found jackets she's really like outdone herself a couple of dresses too and she's not one for dresses so they were really good quality and they fit her really well so I was like like you good job for me, I did find a couple of dresses, but they're not my usual style. So like I said, thrift shopping is a great way to experiment and you know, try something new. So I'm not showing on soon. I'm gonna stop like teasing the haul to y'all. You just know that it's coming up soon lah. Hey. They've got a site for winter coats and then jackets, jean jackets. They've got shorts, skirts. They also have big tables where you can sort of flip through and those are like one for two dollars, three dollars sort of thing. But I don't really flip through them. I flip them sometimes but I really don't spend a lot of time just because I feel like reds are easier to look at. There are flannels, t-shirts, women's tops and then dresses and then more dressier stuff like prom dresses or like ballroom dresses. And on top there are mannequins of like bikinis and stuff. The thing about this store in particular is that I feel like they have a very good eye. So sometimes they can get like fast fashion-y stuff or like you stuff but it's still kind of trendy and it's still stuff that I like, feel like people would still go for. The chances of finding something you'll like is actually a lot higher. So I think if you're a beginner to thrifting and you sort of don't know where to start, maybe that's a good place to start just because it's you know more palatable. And they have mirrors at the side and they have this like, it's like a, just imagine like a sari skirt with like an elastic band over the mirrors so when you want to try something on you just put the entire like sorry skirt looking thing on top of you and you just change underneath yeah it's a fun experience and the cashier is always super super nice they play like fun pop music and it's just like a nice time and i've met a couple of subscribers there like we've said hi you know i've like felt very comfortable in the space just sort of talking to jam be like yeah girl like that face like i'm like everyone's hype beast when i'm there like i'm just complimenting people left right and center so it's just like a very homely and chill place sort of like salvation army but a lot like hipper shnami what up up, editing Brenda back here again and as y'all recall I promised to talk about mines we actually went twice the first time around for some reason it was already closed at 4 p.m even though I think they said like closed at 5 or something like that and then the second time was a Monday definitely no affinity with that place so we could only stare at it longingly through the windows and as you can see I've taken some clips it's very like targeted towards like middle age to like slightly older women so I don't know know if like people our age would find interesting things there i cannot vouch for it because i literally never been inside i think we're just gonna have to go back another day and like maybe do a part two an episode two time yeah so that's all for the physical thrift stores in singapore and i want to throw in a special mention it's actually an online thrift store called the kid story and i've actually sold some of my clothes with them i had a collection and it was like super cool and i just like really loved it the owners behind the kid story Ushu and eliza are very very sweet, very lovely people, very hardworking. They are the ones that curate and source all of the stuff that's listed online. So I'm gonna list them down below. You can also check out my collection if you want. Uh, so 
Um, so yeah, I think those are all the thrift stores in Singapore. Like I said, I was focusing on very, very affordable, truly like the meaning of thrift shopping, like thrift-based, donation-based sort of places. I do have a separate video coming up that's planned for like vintage shopping in Singapore. So I'm going to delve into some of the stores that I've found and I'm very excited about that. But I need to film, I need to have some research, I need to like no mush. So it's going to take a little bit of time. In the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos all the time, every week, sometimes twice a week, sometimes once a week. I don't know if it's three times a week, I could go crazy. So if you want to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. Bye! Oh wait, if you have any more recommendations of thrift stores, if I missed out, also let me know. I would love to check it out. Okay, bye for real.